Hi guys, welcome back to Power Cubicle Guy. In today's show, we are going to see how we can mask the usernames in Power BI and how we can secure the user table by using row level security. So let's see a demo of what we are going to learn in this session. So suppose uh, if you see this table, it has all the current usernames visible in this table with the masked user ID with the date and sales target, right? So for example, if I want to see as Peter, so Peter at sales target.com and I click OK. So once Peter logs in, he will see only the data related to his username highlighted in green and other users highlighted in salmon color. So uh, this current user uh, column might not be required in the report, but just for the sake of demo, I am showing it in this table. And if you see the other tables are also filtered the user table with the Peter's email ID name and user ID and this masked user table with the user ID uh, the current username and user ID right so uh, let's dig in and see how this can be done but before that a small intro so guys um, Let's see how this can be done. So there is a Excel which I'm using as a source. So if you see there are two tabs user and sales target. So this user table has three columns user ID name and email ID of those salesperson. So it's Peter Stacy Ryan, Sebastian Rosa and Kate and the sales target for all those uh, users with the date and the sales target expected right so in power bi i have imported all those tables so if you see here user table with the same data and sales target table with the same data right and uh, here you see uh, one more table named as last user so here uh, what i am doing is uh, let me quickly open the transform data and show you guys what I have done here so guys if you see here I have copied the user table just by right clicking it and clicking on duplicate and created a masked user table right and here what I am doing is I have removed the other sensitive information from this table which is the name and email id of the user and and after doing this i have loaded this table right and after loading this table if you see here i have created a masked user column which is just the concatenation of user word and the user id so it gives me a masked user uh, column which is user 100 user 101 like that and if you see uh, i have added here a measure which is current user so so if you see here there are like if conditions i have added here with a calculate function just to display the current user name so this will only show the username from the uh, user table by checking the non blank rows so here if you see I have given a background color measure as well so if the current user uh, measure is not blank then the color is green otherwise salmon so guys uh, if you don't know we in power bi we can directly give the name of the color which we want to display like i have give, given here there is uh, no requirement of 
giving the hex code or uh, selecting the specific color in conditional formatting we can directly give the color name as well so um, this is the creation of masked user table and now if we go back here on the uh, on the relationship tab you see I have linked this user uh, masked user table with the user ID linked to the sales target so uh, the user ID uh, from the masked user will be used to filter the sales target fact table right so if I double click this relationship you will see here uh, from the masked user to the sales target is it's uh, one to many or if you see the opposite way from sales target to masked user it's many to one right so uh, guys cross filter direction should be single in uh, any case otherwise will be uh, stuck in the performance issues right so in any case it should uh, look like a star schema diagram right for the best performance and um, in this report this table will be hidden in the report view so this table uh, should be hidden from the user view it should not get displayed so just for the sake of demo I was showing this table so it should uh, look like this it should be hidden from the uh, user view right so uh, let me unhide this table now if we go to the report tab we see here I have added this table with masked user column date column sales target and current user so I'm using columns only from these two tables right and this table is getting all the values from this user table which will be hidden in the uh, report view just for the sake of this demo it's shown here and uh, this user ID current user and uh, masked user is coming from this table right now coming to a uh, row level security so if you guys see if I hide this table right then also if I publish this report and user has access to the data set to build uh, his own report from this from the data set which is published in the uh, online portal then user if user knows how to write DAX measures then he can access that user table right so for that purpose I have added a row level security on the user table it's very simple filter it's email equals to user principal name so suppose Peter logs in then his user principal name or the email ID will get passed here and he will be only to see the user name related to his user ID right so he will not be able to uh, see other users which are already masked so he will be only seeing data as like this peter at sales target dot com missed e right so he will be seeing only the data related to him and other for other users he will be seeing the masked user names or the user IDs right so that for that purpose we are using the row level security if user knows how to use DAX then also he should not be able to uh, know which masked user ID belong to which user right so that's the purpose of um, this report or the um, security should be in place 
I guess that's all I wanted to show you guys. So um, if you have any questions related to this report, you can message me. This report uh, will help you in your Power BI report development. Let me know in the comments if this report helped you in any way. All right. Thank you guys and see ya.